Newsroom. It is all about finding Christian and Kayla. Tonight, a new search for two missing children whose mom was found dead in an abandoned house. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner is on Detroit's west side where police have been scouring the neighborhood. They had a lot of ground to cover tonight. Let me show you why. Here along Ohio and Greenlawn, there are several vacant homes and several vacant lots with these tall weeds. Take a look as almost a dozen police officers from Detroit police and state police work this area, going house to house, lot to lot, looking for these two missing kids and any other physical evidence. After about two hours, the search was called off. Take a look at another scene tonight. This is not far from here, but over in Dearborn at Ford and Evergreen, where they searched two dumpsters and did find, take a look, several family photos and a box labeled toys. Is this in connection with this case? We believe so. Something led police to this specific location. Also, 28-year-old Aaron Justice remains in jail tonight down in Atlanta, Georgia. He's charged with the murder of 27-year-old Alicia Fox. That's what started this whole case. She was found Monday night and had been shot twice in the head. They have a son together, eight-month-old Christian, and he has a six-year-old sister, Kayla Hunter. Both of them tonight are still missing. Also tonight, hundreds of family friends gather where Alicia went to school. They release balloons at a vigil. They're scared, confused, hurting, and seeking answers. I don't know where the babies are. I just hope that they're safe and they come back to... I can't see your talk. I'm just hurting this also take a look at this, the Chevy Impala that was owned by Alicia Fox. It was recovered from a salvage yard in Taylor, downriver. Something led police to this. They were combing it for any physical evidence inside. We're also told by police a 27-year-old accomplice who was an accessory after the fact is in custody expected to be charged. Is he cooperating? How much is Aaron talking down in Atlanta? He told a judge there today he wants to fight extradition. That means it could take several weeks to bring him back to Detroit. But the bottom line tonight, the search in this West Detroit neighborhood did not find the two missing kids. This investigation continues. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. And count on 7 Action News and WXYZ.com. We will bring you any new developments as they happen.